My friend, if you want to get a landscaping business off the ground and maybe you're afraid that it's not going to work out or you hear that 9 out of 10 businesses fail, well, I want to share with you some words of encouragement of how it's working out for me and how it's changed my life. Several years ago, and I want to show you something in a second here, several years ago, when I was getting my landscaping business off the ground, I was scared and terrified. I lived in a one bedroom apartment with my wife. We could barely keep pay the bills. We are in debt and I was hustling and I had no place to keep my new landscaping tools that I was, my wife's pulling up right now at home. I had no place to keep my landscaping tools. I couldn't even afford a storage unit to keep them in. It's like 60 bucks a month for a storage unit or a hundred bucks a month, right? I asked my brother and sister-in-law who just bought a house, my wife's uh, sister, they, they, they had a house and oddly we bought their house. That's a different story, but hear me out. And they have a, they have a shed in their backyard. And I said, will you please let me keep my landscaping tools in your backyard shed? I gotta show you something, honey. My wife's pulling up right now from a family party. I was so embarrassed, they said yes, and every morning I would come and I would get my tools out of their shed, try not to wake them up, I would go to work all day, and every evening I would drop them off in their shed because I was keeping my landscaping tools in our in our living room and our apartment, and it was smelling like gas and everything, right? So look at this. Hey. Where's the remote for it? Wait, I gotta show you something. Come here, honey. You've got the pond Look. Where's uh, the remote? Hey, I gotta show you something. Come here. Yeah. That shed, I just realized, is in the backyard behind the garage. And come here, we're doing a video, look at this. So I remember a, a couple years in, I bought my wife a, a, a bike to ride bikes and we were keeping it in the, in the living room of our tiny little apartment. And we ended up having to get rid of her bike. I threw mine in the garbage because we had no place to put it and I put mine I put hers in, I had to drop hers off at my brother and sister-in-law's house and put it in their shed and she never got to ride the bike because there was no place to put it because I was, felt like such a loser because I didn't even have a place to put my wife's bike. So years later, we ended up buying their house. Honey, come here, I gotta show you something. This is crazy, look at this. I know, he's a good boy. Look at this. I ate way too hey, much. Remember when we got you that, uh, so remember when I got you that bike? Bright. Remember when I got you that bike? Oh, I've already seen this. What? And yeah, why we, am I walking back here? But we had to keep it in the li uh, the living room of our in a freeway drive of our apartment because there was nowhere to put it. Yep. So we got so frustrated with it being in the living room Ew, there's that so many bugs. we dropped it off here at your brother and sister-in-law's house, but we ended up buying their right. house. Open, Open that. It. Open that. Now we straight up own the shed. We own the garage. And there's bugs. And there's... What is that in there? Is that like preem and Roundup? Look what at that. They got stuff in there for us. And there's the bike. Oh, there's noodles for the pool. In the shed. So with the right mindset and the hustle, you can literally do anything. If you want to get a landscaping business off the ground, and you were inspired by this video, you gotta check out my free three video series on how to start a landscaping business right now with no startup money. I'll put a link in the description below. It's called three free video series. Go there, sign up, it's totally free, and you can get this entire in-depth video course on how to start a landscaping business. All right, bye.